Text to reply is the quickest and fastest way to break down those long, question loaded emails. By processing any copied email text, the program can decipher questions, comments, links, or even contacts contained in that email, allowing you to pick and choose which sentences to reply to and auto creating the reply email. So here's how it works. First, we need to copy some email text. So I'm going to go to Notes. And what I have here is just an email that's typed up uh, from a guy named Richard here. It is made out to Ben. has a couple questions in there. Um, it also says, uh, let's meet up sometime around 5 p.m. And also notice here at the bottom it has Richard's contact information with his company and all of that information. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all of it. I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to head back to the app and launch text to reply. So it's pretty simple um, to process everything here. We just hit process text. And what it's going to do is it's first going to break down on this first screen is allowing you to create your reply email. Um, and it's first going to only show the questions in that email. Um, notice here that it just has two questions. Did you receive the latest proposal for the job? And how is the new office coming? I can see their contacts within my email if I hit the side arrow and they highlight yellow. Um, I can see how that looks. Also, if I want, I can break down and show the whole email broken down by sentence and or question or comment. Um, so you can see all that. But for this, I'm just going to show just the questions only. And I'm going to select which ones I want to reply to. Hit next. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the first one. Did I uh, receive the new proposal yet? I'm just going to say yes. And thank you. All right, and then I'm going to hit next, and it's going to take me to the next question. Um, how is the office coming along? And I'll just reply, it's great. Okay, and once I'm done with that, I'm going to say done. And I can also reorder these if I want, but I'm going to say next. And then lastly, uh, what I'm on the final screen, it actually composed uh, this message already and it knows that Richard sent me this email so it's gonna say dear Richard up at the front and I can change that if I want but I'm gonna say hide keyboard so now uh, notice how it has his questions highlighted there with the uh, arrows and mine uh, reply underneath um, now what I can do here is I can either save this and come back to this it, it, it will save within the program I can copy it to my clipboard or I can say send um, and the only thing it's going to ask me to do is it's going to say, do I, do I want to send this to a new email or do I want to reply back to him? And it's real simple that I just hit send and there's my actual email right there, ready for him to go. Uh, one other actual bonus feature that I have on this, uh, if I hit cancel and I go back one step to the main screen is I have the import feature. Uh, notice now it also has some information as far as contacts. In that email, Richard had his contact information um, and that is located right here. Uh, if I click on this contact, it's gonna ask me uh, what is EMD Image Services. In this case, it's just Richard's uh, company name. And from here, I can add it to an existing contact or I can just say brand new contact and now I have Richard's contact information with his phone, his email, his company, website, all that good stuff ready to go right in my phone. Um, and one last feature here is you also have the events and or links that were contained. So for example, uh, in that email he said, let's meet up 5 p.m. Wednesday. I can see it in the email if I want to right here. Or I can just add that event right to my iPhone calendar right there. So... Uh, text to reply it is now available on the iTunes App Store. Um, I hope it is an everyday part of your iPhone experience. Thank you.